Hello everybody and welcome. The Easter holidays are coming up and in this video we are going to draw a Easter card. This can be useful not only for drawing your Easter cards but we will also learn a lot about Inkscape. We will learn how to uh, use object to path, how to use some boolean functions like union and difference and how to resize about the center of rotation and we'll also learn briefly about blur gradient and uh, the text tool so the first thing that we have to do is start drawing the head let's draw a circle we hold control press to make sure that the aspect ratio stays constant and after that we are going to draw a rectangle we're going to convert the rectangle to a path so let's click on path convert object to path and let's round out the corners of the rectangle after that let's set the color and the stroke of both the circle and the rectangle And then let's use the path union function to combine the two paths to form a single path. Next, we're going to draw the chin. That's the basic outline of the head. After that, let's draw in the nose. Let's start by drawing half a triangle. Then let's select this triangle, copy it by pressing Ctrl C, paste it by pressing Ctrl V, and then mirror it. And let's move it into place. We are going to combine the two half triangles by using the union function again and and we're gonna pick the color and the stroke let's delete the extra vertices which we don't need and round out the corners One useful thing to do is to turn on the grid. This helps to make the nose a bit more symmetrical. And after that, let's draw a shine on the nose. And let's add a little bit of blur. Now we've drawn the nose, let's draw the snout next. Let's draw half of the snout shape, like so. And then let's lower the snout beneath the nose. Let's uh, select, copy, paste and mirror the snout and move it into place and also lower it.
Part of the snout are the whiskers, so let's draw a whisker. And let's copy and paste it. And then let's rotate it a little bit by clicking on it using the selection tool and uh, clicking on it again and then rotate using the rotation arrows to rotate the whisker. And then let's select all three whiskers, click on each holding shift and let's copy it, paste it, uh, flip it and move it to the other side of the face. Next we are going to draw the eyes. Uh, first let's draw a white oval. Let's duplicate the oval by pressing Ctrl D and, and now let's resize it. But while resizing it we should press Ctrl to keep the aspect ratio constant and press Shift to resize it around the center of rotation. Change the color. Let's duplicate the smaller one and let's change the color to black to form the pupil. And then let's select the iris and the pupil and move them downwards. As a next step, I'm going to cut a piece out of this eye. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to demonstrate how the difference function works. Uh, first I'm going to draw a square up here and I'm going to draw a circle up uh, covering the square. Now I select both, go to path and then difference. Now I'm going to apply the same to the eye. But I have three objects there so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw the part I want to cut out. I'm going to draw an oval down here and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And then since I want to do this step three times, I'm going to duplicate this oval three times. And then first I'm going to select the oval and the pupil and I'm going to path difference then I'm going to select the oval and the iris and I'm going to go to path difference and finally I'm going to select the uh, oval and the white part of the eye and I'm going to go to path difference and as you can see I've cut this piece out of the eye. So let's select these three pieces and let's copy it and paste it and mirror it and move it to the other side of the face. And as a last step I'm going to add a little white glimmer to the iris. on both the left side and the right side. Now we've drawn the face, let's draw the ears. First I'm going to draw two shapes like so. And I'm going to color them And after that I'm going to draw the inner part of the ear. And as you probably predicted I'm going to select these objects which make up the ear and I'm going to copy it and paste it and mirror and move it in place. One of the great things about vector graphics is that it's really easy to make changes and now that we have our rabbit's 
head in place. I'm going to make some adjustments to the uh, stroke size, for example, and the coloring. I also add uh, some of the missing details, like for example, the mouth of the rabbit, which is just a black circle below the snout. As a next step, let's draw a background. I'm going to draw the rectangle and I'm going to lower it behind the head of the rabbit. And I'm going to use a radial gradient fill. So first I'm going to adjust the colors. Watch out, this is by default set to uh, transparent, so we want to remove all the transparency. And then set the color to uh, blue or whatever. And then we're also going to set the color to the of the inner handle. Click on the inner handle and we're going to set the color there. And then I'm going to adjust the positions of these handles to taste. Let's add a text. I'm just going to type Happy Easter! exclamation mark. And I'm going to pick a nice fun font. So that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, you might find this video useful too. And since you're here anyway, why not click on the like button. Have a nice Easter holidays. Bye.